open up, open up, open up, open up, open up, open up, open up. Kidogo, 
Mwanzo ndio amesema lazima atembee asalimie watu wake, awakaribishe kwa sherehe yake. Twende kazi.
for our lives. God is thinking good thoughts. We may not recognize this. But for the gentlemen in the house, look at the ladies in the next to you and tell them you look lovely tonight. Fiche mwabie umeitora ikachoreka. Ladies, see the ladies, look at the gentleman sitting next to you. Finally, join me so we can recognize the dignitaries in the house. This house tonight is heavy. We have learned people, we have influential people, and also the Prime Minister is here. Karibu. Thank you very much. Um, my duty is very simple, ladies and gentlemen. And first, allow me to celebrate a woman who I see as a mentor. As a spiritual leader, as a teacher, a mother, and simply Minping. On this day, I want to congratulate His Excellency Baba Raila Amolo Odinga as he celebrates the 50th anniversary of their wedding. Don't they look young? It is a great occasion to celebrate a woman that I admire and simply adore in many ways. When this date was coming close by, I called Honorable Catherine, Commissioner, and I told Commissioner, you know what? Mama is having a birthday soon. And we went to Mama, you see the way she's smiling. And we went to Mama and said, Mama, you're having your birthday. She looked at me and said, so she said, okay, there's not only the birthday, but also the 50th anniversary, which is coming almost three days later. So we sat down with his honorable Anthony Oluoch, council and member of parliament for Madare, and we put our heads together. And ladies and gentlemen, this is love. And in this evening, we are celebrating love. And we are celebrating a lovely couple. Blessed with a good family. And I have no words because I have to keep my speech short and clear. But I want to say congratulations, Mama and Baba. Congratulations, Mama, on your birthday. Nyagim, my sister, my mother, my mentor. A woman I love, Mano Min Pin, Nyagim Nyagipita. Thank you very much. Achiel Kende Maonge Moro. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. Uh, I greet everybody. Uh, all protocols have observed. And uh, I want to tell you, uh, first of all, that I'm knowing this minute that I'm supposed to give a speech. I had not known about it before. And many of you will believe that uh, somebody from our family, which is political, you can be called upon any time to give a speech and it will be okay, you will yeah, uh, you'll be all right. I want to disappoint you. That's not necessarily the case. But uh, I have a few things I want to say about uh, Mama Ida because uh, it is her birthday. Uh, I used to stay with her husband, who is my elder brother, before they got married, before uh, when I was staying with him before I went to university. He was teaching at the University of Nairobi. I didn't like him. <laughs> he was so strict. So when I wanted to go out, maybe I have a date. He wants to know, who is this person you are going out with? What does he do? What time are you going to come back home? So I told him, I'm going to a movie. I'll be back at 11. Uh, no, the movie is ending at 11. I, I don't like it, but so you'll be back at 11. But the movie is ending at 11. So... <laughs> And you know, he would go out with his friends, but he, that particular day he would make sure that at 11 he's home to make sure that I'm, and he's checking the, the watch to make sure that I'm back home. And then he, once he sees that I'm back home, then he leaves, he leaves, he will not. 
So he would not let me see who was, he was dating, but I had a feeling that there were people who were my age. <laughs> so one day I asked him, do you think that the ladies you are dating don't have brothers? Why are you so strict with me? I know if you made a single mistake, he will report you to my father. So anyway, I went out. He, he's the one who arranged for me to go and study abroad. So when I was there, that's when they, were, they, they had their wedding. So I was not there at the wedding. But when I came back on holiday, they came to meet me at the airport. So that's the time I met Mama Ida for the first time. <clears throat> so when I looked at her, I said, aha, this one is my age. <laughs> she looked my age. Then later we confirmed. And so later, when I was working in Nakuru, one time we thought we wanted to give uh, my father some advice because, you know, uh, he was back in politics and people were telling him uh, bad things, you know, uh, humiliating him and we didn't like him. We didn't like it because we loved him. So I told her, uh, let's come, I'll come to Nairobi, we go and give him advice that now he has already created his own niche in history. He is loved, so let him leave politics alone. So he said, no, I'm so happy because you people, but first we told him we are age mates. Then he said, oh, because you are age mates, and I, I can see, I don't, I'm so happy that you people, the two of you are age mates, and uh, now you can even advise me. A lot of people cheat me, uh, but you people are telling me the truth, and uh, you, the, you are age mates, so you, and you have similar characteristics. You are even stingy. <laughs> the two of you are equally stingy. In <laughs> Kijaluo, So anyway, so we, we thought, so he was so happy with our advice, and we went out to look for Martini to drink to celebrate. And I went to back to Nakuru. The, then he went home for Christmas. So after that, we saw in the newspaper, Odinga says, I will not be quiet. Some people say, are telling me to keep quiet that I'm now old, but I've refused. Now it was me and Ida. <laughs> he's, he's answering us in the, in the media. Uh, so, you know, so we realize that a politician is always a politician, and I'm seeing that even in his son. So anyway, I was supposed to talk for one minute, and I, was, I didn't know I was ambushed. I didn't know I was supposed to talk. Uh, I, me, for, as far as I'm concerned, I stopped thinking about birthdays by the time I reached 50. So I got shocked, another shocker today, when Ada is celebrating, I don't know, her 73rd birthday. So I, I, it means that I, am I also near there? <laughs> I wish her a happy birthday, yeah? And uh, it, it is a shocker, but we have a, something in common in that we believe in education as the only way. And educa education, what I like, and me and my father said it, <laughs> to, to open doors. You don't even, even if you don't get a job, but education is always something that will improve your life, both boys and girls. So uh, that is something that Ada and I have together, and I mean in common, to the Pigana, to Kenele and Bele, as usual, uh, age mates do that all the time. Their relatives, siblings, all the time. I wish her a very, very happy birthday. And thank you all for giving me this chance. Ida, Betty, Odinga, and His Excellency, the Honorable uh, Prime Minister, Raila Molo Odinga, I am most honored and privileged to invite you on behalf of Mama, whom I fondly know as Mrs. Odinga because she was my teacher. Uh, I'd like to invite you on her behalf uh, to dinner. Uh, and she has asked me to say grace 
uh, that we used to say uh, way back then at the Kenya High School. So if we can be all upstanding for the grace. Let's say grace. For what we are about to receive, may the Lord make us truly thankful. Amen. Amen. It's short and sweet. Um, five of us, but there are two of us in absentia, and one of them is sharing a birthday with my grandmother. So, if you could clap and wish him happy birthday in absentia. Yeah. Um, so, we're going to sing happy birthday, but I personally cannot sing, so I'm going to pass it to my sister, so you guys don't have to deal with my singing. So, we'll go. Three, two, one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nanya. Happy birthday to you. Safi, you have not told us their names. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So this is my sister. Her name is Senai. Hi. Hi. 
Hi everyone. And then this is my cousin. This is my cousin Lion. And then uh, I'm Hillary Owl. And uh, let me say um, mom's last is on kind of, but it's debatable. <laughs> Yeah, so I've been in this family since I was four. So I'm, right now I'm 22, so that's like 18 years. And now my mom is, mom is like my mom. You know? So thank you. Hi, my name is Martina. And I'm Sonia's sister. from all of us. Okay. Okay, so I would just like to wish my grandmother a very, very happy, happy birthday because I know that she deserves it because she's always working so hard. So it's nice to see everybody coming here to support her and pampering her. Yes. And also like to wish her a happy anniversary. It's coming later, it's coming in September. But I'd like to wish her and my granddad coming on 50 years, the golden anniversary. Yes. 50 years my grandparents have been together. That's a very long time. That's even before all of us and our parents were born. <laughs> I just want to wish my grandmother a very, very happy birthday. I love you very, very much. Happy birthday, Yaya. My grandma, and I'm so happy to be here on her birthday, and I hope she has the best birthday ever. And I hope she has fun on her birthday. <laughs> Well, as they take pictures, may we appreciate them once more. It takes a lot to be on stage. But go for Mazuri. These are the grandchildren. Organized ourselves, so don't worry. Um, I am speaking on behalf of my siblings here. Uh, usually in political rallies, uh, the senior most politician speaks last. However, in a family hierarchy, the youngest <laughs> is
is the one who's given the microphone. So here I am today. Um, first of all, to the Honorable Doctor, Astronaut, Engineer, Superhero, and her husband. <laughs> No, I'm joking. Ladies and gentlemen, and most importantly to my parents, uh, um, thank you very much for coming here today. Uh, we were just thinking amongst the three of the four of us how a year ago this place would have been packed and even more packed and more packed and more packed. Um, but we prefer this because these are the real ones. And so thank you very much for being here with us today. Uh, to my parents, 50 years, uh, just so the audience knows that this is just the pre-show, uh, we are negotiating with them to do a, a full remarriage in December, um, so if you can encourage them, we will have that party. Uh, Mom, you have always been there for us. And I speak on behalf of not just the children you have on this stage, the ones you gave birth to, but all your children. Um, you have changed a country. You have changed a generation. Without you, mom, the fistula rates would still be very high. Without you, the teenage pregnancy rates would be even higher. Without you, Men would be talking to these young women anyhow. <laughs> Without you, mom, the number of children who are born stunted would be higher. And so we want to tell you that we appreciate you. Because without you, mom, many of us, especially the girls, but all the fellows too, would be walking with our feet, looking at our feet. But because of you, we walk in this town with our heads held high because we are looking up to you. Um, we want to tell you that uh, we thank you and we love you for standing with us, for always supporting us. And so the four of us here said it's our turn to support you. And we know how precious the Ido Dinga Library is to you. <laughs> and so we have donated this check of one million Kenya shillings to the Aido Dinga Library. Uh, so, let me give it to my sister. So, uh, give that a bigger clap. This is a big thing. <laughs> so, Mom, we love you. We'll always be there for you. Thank you for being here with us. And thank you for being here for our dad. <laughs> we couldn't do this without you. So thank you so much and happy anniversary. Um, just so you know, 50th anniversary is uh, next week on the 1st of September. But all of us revolve around our mother. My sister's birthday was a week ago. Uh, today is my mother's birthday. But today also happens to be the birthday of the youngest son of this lovely couple who's just turned two years old. His name is Jaramogi Oginga Odinga. <laughs> and then after my parents anniversary is also their anniversary so everything revolves around our mother she's the son and thank you very much all right mom you can receive the check oh come on everybody this is where you clap na hapa ndio kina mama mnanipa vigelegele haya dj fanya mambo yako All right, photo, photo moment for the family, photo moment for the family.
Come on in. Come on, guys. Come on. We love each other. <laughs> Uh, DJ Kidogo, we see the family dance together. <laughs> There's a saying that a family that dances together uh -huh. stays together. Ah, buggy. <laughs> All right, DJ, play, 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 play. Yo, 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 yo. Thank you, DJ. Um, I know I'll appreciate other people later, but I just want to say something specifically about this check that I've been given by my four children. Uh, Yvonne Jr., Jr. himself, Winnie, and Rosemary. Now, several years ago, how many years is it? Seven. <laughs> I went to a school. I went to a secondary school known as Uganda Girls High School. Now, I've seen some of the alumni of Uganda Girls. I, I'm sure they're here. Yeah. Uh, we have... Hey. Oh, there were more than I thought. Uh-huh. <laughs> there they are. Yeah, you know, we went to school at different times, but we are all um, alumni of, of Uganda girls. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I left that school in 1968. You can't count how many years it is since I left that school. But then I've gone back to that school. And what we are doing, I'm building ultra-modern library for that particular school. And the library is called uh, Ido, Dr. Ido Dinga Library. Now, the work is still in progress. We've done up to 80% of that library. And one of the wings is already ready and is still is being used. There are two wings. Now, I've seen some people saying that it has installed, has not installed. The work is in progress. And today, I'm happy to learn that my own children have given me one million Kenya shillings, and this will go towards that library. Now, the, the library itself costs 350 million Kenya shillings, and it will be done in honor. And that is my legacy that I'm going to live in this world. And, and I'm sure it will inspire more girls to go to Uganda girls, and it will inspire more old girls to invest back in their schools where they are. Yeah. Okay. So uh, let me let me just introduce the few Uganda girls who are here. Let's start with uh, Mashimiwa. Hello, yes. Senator Dr. Beatrice Ogola, MP. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. I'm Dr. Stella Juma. Um, Dr. Stella Juma is a lecturer at Rongo University. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mrs. Rispo Konjo. I'm a farmer in the North Rift, Kitale in particular. Good evening, everyone. My name is Dr. Karen Olendo Bodo. 
Dr. Karen. Dr. Karen uh, uh, Orlando Bodo works for Masena University. I'm an educationist. I teach education planning and economics. Thank you. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, mara nyingi watu usema wajalua wajui Kiswahili lakini najaribu kiasi changu au vipi mosikiaje nyinyi si nimejaribu jamani eh naitwa Anastasia Achengo Dundo mimi kawaida hata si, si lazima niseme hiyo mwajua sisi sote tumepitia huko sasa <laughs> Nilipofikisha miaka 60 Mtu amesema eh hey, wacha nizungumze kiingereza kidogo pengine nitajaribu When I got to 60 years young I said whatever I was doing let me take a break from it and do other things So I taught until over two years ago when I turned 60 years young Right now I'm only 62 years and 3 months young but I still teach I still teach and do a lot of things I also farm but let me not talk so much let me leave it there thank you very much uh, my name is uh, Connie Sigay uh, after corona I used to be a business a very serious business lady in Nairobi but after corona I'm now farming in uh, at home which is Bomet County. Ida is my big sister I'm her kid sister. I love her. I'm wishing you the best. Happy birthday my sister. God bless you. Thank you very much and thank you Ogande girls. Now you know we got something to take back to Ongeri Limbo. Thank you. Now bado just been born and uh, she's a beautiful baby you can see uh, uh, i don't know i don't know where, where, where i met her that is probably coming later but now that the baby is been born uh, it's upon me now to to first wish her a very happy birthday today uh, you can see that the baby's face is so shining <laughs> and we want to wish her to have many many more in future okay now it's traditional to sing happy birthday here but you know in my other incarnation i live in germany So I, I'm going to sing her happy birthday first in German. <laughs> Then I'll come back to what you guys know. <laughs> Or may I start the other way around? Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday dear Ida. Happy birthday to you. How old are you now? The <laughs> German they say hoch soll sie leben. Hoch soll sie leben. Dreimal hoch. <laughs> you should live three times as long as you live today. So in the, that is said now I think it's time now to cut the birthday kick. Yes, of course. Oh, 
Ladies and gentlemen, Unona na peleka keki kinago.
that um, this special day belongs to God and this wonderful couple. So why don't we give them a big hearty clap. And today they have treated us to an amazing occasion, really amazing. 50 years. of going through hardship. I start with hardship because at the tail end of that uh, video presentation, we saw some pain, particularly on the part of Mama Aida and her brother. He must have been coming out of hospital. They've gone through it all. 50 years of God's own blessing. How we wish that you continue Mamaida today, I was telling her, looks exactly 30. 30 years. Uh, and so, we, we really don't want to say anything today. It's an occasion to celebrate love, to celebrate family. And what an example this wonderful couple has been. We wish you many, many more anniversaries. And... Uh, Invite us again, we'll come. In fact, who is it was saying, I think it was um, um, one of your daughters who said, uh, in ordinary times, it would be impossible to contain the crowd here. We all feel very privileged that we received the invitation to join with you today. But I also know 
that the whole country is here with you. To a pigeon of a coffee term. Congratulations. Wow. Once again, let me now take this opportunity to welcome you and also to thank you for taking time to be with us here tonight. I want to thank particularly my colleagues in the Azimio Summit who have all come in the numbers to be with us here today. I, they were saying it's Baba, and I say, how does Baba become the guest in his own function? That I become the speaker. I mean, I, I cannot congratulate myself. <laughs> they are being very unfair, as usual. Politicians are very unfair. But I'm very grateful that you guys have taken time to be with us here. I don't take it for granted, me and Ida. I met this young girl of 51 years ago. And uh, sometimes they say live at the first sight. <laughs> I don't know what to say. But we courted each other for nearly a year. In the end, which is a stage where we went to the altar to say, I do. I do which meant that you are condemning yourself to jail <laughs> for the rest of your life. <laughs> you say, till death do us part. That is very, very easy to say. But you sometimes find that most of the times you have the difficult part of it. The times when this is nice and good, and but the times when it can be very, very rough indeed. Some of those pictures you see are just a, a very tiny fraction of the pictures that you should have seen. But Ida was a young girl, and there was also a young lad in town. In the, those days, so uh, you know, there's in the campus there, the halls of residence used to call it the box. In those days, where you'd go to look for beautiful girls, I was a bachelor at that time. So we met and uh, eventually caught at each other. And the song they have sung here of George Ramogi. Alice, Alice Lungo Nyinge, is the one that actually brought us together. <laughs> and that's why it is very, very historical that that should be, be played here tonight. But you see, life is what you make it yourself, you know. There's no way of saying this way or that way. But as you see, there are some coincidences. She's celebrating her birthday tonight. As you know, uh, so many years ago, my grandmother was having bad pangs and gave birth to this girl. Little did she know that several years later, her uh, a uh, 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 granddaughter would be give, going through a similar experience to give birth to her great grandson. So that, that Ida is now sharing her birthday with her grandson. You see, this is also accidents of nature. Nature is a very interesting thing. But then, uh, I think that uh, life is also an education. You learn as you move on, you know new people. So it becomes time become very interesting. When we were getting married, 
both of us realized that we had something in common. That we had a love for the Caribbeans. You see, Harry Belafonte, <laughs> Harry Belafonte, who was my hero at that time, had made it look so, so beautiful that I said that I'm, in my lifetime, one day I must go to the Caribbeans. I ate also independently, the Caribbeans. So we wanted to go to the Caribbean for our um, uh, honeymoon, but we did not have the money. So we said, in our lifetime, we must one day go together to the Caribbeans. So it reached a time when we were now able to go. And we said, this time we were now having a family, children, grandchildren. So we said, we would take a tour to the Caribbeans together. So we traveled on time. We traveled to London, Heathrow, then we changed to Gatwick, took a flight to Montego Bay in Jamaica. All of us flew from here, except Winnie, who was then in college in the US, who came and joined us in Montego Bay. So we were there, now looking at what it was. Around there we went to what they call uh, um, uh, uh, the Belafonte House, where Harry Belafonte was brought up. They went to a, a field where Hossein Bolt used to train his high school. Then he went to the Maroons. Maroons are those people who came from Africa and still live the way they live there in Jayat in, in Jamaica. They fought the, the Spaniards, the defeated Spaniards, the British. Eventually, they signed a charter with Queen uh, Victoria. So they lived the way they, they lived when they came from Africa. Then we went to uh, Bob Mali because Junior and uh, Fidel are fans of Bob Mali, home. And then from Montego Bay, then we went to uh, Dominican Republic, place called Casa de Campo. Then from there, we went to the Trinidad. And then I went to Tobago, where I found the black people saying, because Trinidad and Tobago are two different islands. See, tell me what is the country to the east of Tobago? I tried to think of those islands. No, no, no. Eventually told me, to the east of Tobago, there's nothing else but Africa. We come from Africa, and we're proud of it. So from there, we then took a, a, a flight all the way to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and, and then back. But when we were there, now I th remember Harry Belafonte. You know, Belafonte was a, a singer. He came to Kenya. He was also a freedom fighter, civil rights activist, and so on. So the song that I loved most is the one that sings uh, the, 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 the Jamaican fire, farewell. Round the Bay of Mexico, where the sun shine daily on a mountain top. I took a trip on a sailing ship when I reached Jamaica. I made a stop, but I'm sad to say I'm on my way. Won't be back for many a days. My head is down, my head is turning around. I had to leave a little girl in Kingston town. <laughs> So, we have been a, on a journey, me and Ida, and we've reached where we've reached. 
sometimes it was, it was really been rough uh, when sometimes I was in and out. She was the pillar who looked after the family. You know, I, Junior got to know me when he was nine years old. It's when he got to know me that I was his father. But all those times, Ida was the one who stood strong as a pillar and brought up these children. So uh, it is good to appreciate a partner. And you know that you are partners. I've also stood by her when she was in problems. But she has been in more problems because of me rather <laughs> than because of herself. Twice she has been sacked from her jobs basically because of me. So you know the kind of price you pay marrying rascals like <laughs> you are truly. You know, like now they see my um, Shemeji there, Mrs. Oparanya, has been brought here because <laughs> she married Oparanya. <laughs> and she got some very unusual visitors. <laughs> you know, how many kakameka? To attack of Fungamblango now. <laughs> so we are there back to the old days. We have been through these things before. We thought they had changed. But the more things change, the more they remain the same. But we are not scared. We have worked this journey before. We know the, the ups and downs of it, and we are definitely convinced that ultimately the Kenyan spirit shall prevail. <laughs> so with those very many remarks now, let me invite the birthday lady to come and say something to you people. Karibu <laughs> sana. Once again, good evening. Um, he has said almost, actually he has said everything. But on my part, I just want to thank you. I want to thank all of you for being here for us this evening. I know it is in the middle of the week. Today is a Thursday. And uh, many people are going to work tomorrow morning but you are here because of us. Thank you very much, and may God bless you for that. Um, my dear husband, Raila Molodinga, has said everything that needs to be said. But uh, I was also surprised to notice that it's actually 50 years of marriage. Because... Every morning is a new morning. Every day is a new day. What you saw yesterday is not what you are going to see today. What happened last year is not what is going to happen this year. But that is life. I know most of you here are politicians. I wish I could also have a meeting with the wives of these politicians because <laughs> sometimes it is not very easy. Sometimes it's not easy. Uh, it is not always bread and butter every day. Sometimes it's very painful. Priscilla, yesterday when you were being dragged to that place, I wonder how many days you spent in the governor's office. Maybe never. 
And what were you doing in that place when they were grilling the governor? What were you supposed to be doing? So sometimes, marrying these politicians, you'll be punished for things that you do not understand. <laughs> he said, I've been sacked twice. I was sacked twice from my job. Not because I was a bad performer in my job, not because I'd done something wrong, but because I'd married Raila Moludinga. Right now, the Constitution of Kenya allows me to have security with me. I've never been to those rallies, but my security was taken away because of him. <laughs> I think in future, <laughs> In future, when somebody says that you change some of these constitutions, I think you should. Because in future, you should not be sacrificed for somebody else, for your relatives' mistakes. You should not be punished for your father's mistakes. You should not be punished for your husband's mistakes. That is, if at all there was any mistake. But most of the time, there's no mistake. That is that. But today is a happy day because we are celebrating 50 years of marriage. How many of us here have gone past 50 years? 50 and above. Please just raise up your hand if you've done 50 plus. Uh, you are not even 50 years old. I'm not asking about your age. I'm asking about your marriage. I'm asking, how many of you here have been married for 50 years? Hey, then I'm the champion. I'm the champion, and uh, anybody who wants free lessons can come to me. Privately, I'll tell you the secret. Oh, yeah. Lynn, my sister. She's my elder sister. I know she died more than 50 years, but she's now a widow. So, Lynn, you are disqualified. <laughs> <laughs> you know, on that basis, you are disqualified. So, today is a good day. Thank you very much for coming. We are just going to cut the cake and celebrate, and then the dance. Prince Inda is here. He'll play for us. You dance to your heart's content as much as you can. The evening is yours until Che. Thank you very much and be blessed. All right. Down the way. Logo. Now Baba has a present. Oh. Uh -huh. You have a present? Yes. Uh, where, where? Where, where? Where, where? That one has just landed. That one came with a jet that carried Obama. Back here, my granddaughter, she had to leave uh, uh, Safi. But I asked her, she's the one who made the choice. And I'm giving it on behalf of me and herself. It is uh, Luxpa uh, 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 Bloom uh, Flowers. It is all handmade, and uh, she says it signifies strong bond of love and beautiful spirit. <laughs> then, <laughs> she was ready. She was ready. Nine a match. He's trying to get it, but it is a, a, a perfume, a rose perfume, which basically signifies love, passion, and admiration. Okay. So, 
Thank you.